Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review the theory of everything. So, the theory of everything stars Eddie Redman and uh, Felicity Jones, and what this film is about. It's about Stephen Hawking's life, like his journey through to get to his theory. And. You know, you see his journey, unfortunately, um, he gets Lou Gehrig's disease, and, you know, it. you can't basically, you're not going to feel anything in your feet, your arms, it's, you can't, you won't be able to feel anything in, in the course of the um, disease. So, yeah, that's basically what this film is about, and what did I think of the theory of everything? This movie really did surprise me, I really enjoyed this movie, this was a pretty good movie, I did enjoy the theory of everything. So let's get into the positives, and the positives are Eddie Redman. Eddie Redman kills it in this movie. He is awesome. He really does give a great performance in this movie. Definitely one of the best performances of this year. He really is fantastic in this movie. I mean, he looks exactly like Stephen Hawking. I mean, he does. You can basically put, like, two comparison pictures to each other, and what is it? Uh, A. Redman looks exactly like Stephen Hawking. It, it, it's just awesome, and he's he's really great in this movie. I mean, you know, um, also love the fact that you see his process throughout. You know the um, you know throughout getting the disease, you see his process. It's not like it's not like you know oh oh he got the disease right away. No, he like like he can't feel anything right away. You see the process of what happens to him throughout the course of this, and it's great, and I love seeing that with his character, you know. Um, you also have Felicity Jones, who plays um, Jane, who was um, Stephen Hawking's wife at one point, and she is great as well in this movie, you know. She does give a great performance as well. I did like her in this movie. You know, she really does. She tries her very, like... Jane tries her very best to, um, you see in this movie, she tries her very best to, to, you know, be married to him. You know, the fact that he can't move, he can't do anything because of this disease, and she's trying her best to be with him and take care of him, and you see that. I love that with this movie, and she is great in this movie. Um, overall, the acting is fantastic in this movie. I love the acting in this movie. Writing is fantastic as well. The dialogue between, um, you know, uh, Eddie Redman and Felicity Jones is just great. Their, their chemistry is just great with each other. Directing is great in my opinion. Love the directing with this movie. Um, def definitely was some great directing. So yeah, those are really my positives with this movie. I only have two negatives with this movie. My one negative, the first negative is that the movie gets a little bit boring at times. It really does. And, um, yeah, it just gets boring at part two. You feel, you feel like almost falling asleep at some points in the movie. Yeah, sometimes the movie can get boring. My other negative is that, um, you know, I want to, like, maybe see a little bit more of his theory a little bit. But I know this is what the movie wasn't really basically about. It was, it was, um... Mostly about his his journey throughout, but I would have loved to see a little bit more about his theory. Um, so yeah, I would I would have loved to see a little bit more of that. And those are my only problems with the movie. Besides that, this movie is great. So yeah, it's time to give my official grade on uh, the theory of everything. And my official grade on the theory of everything is an A minus. The theory of everything is a pretty good movie. I did really enjoy this movie. Definitely. One of the best movies of the year, so I'm definitely giving it an A-. So what did you guys think of the theory of everything? Leave it in the comment section below. I'm WWE fan 0599 and we will see you all later. Peace.